it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am here with Barb. We are in Fairview <laughs> Heights, Illinois at St. Clair, St. Antique, Clair Mall. Antique Mall where we will go in. I have not been to this mall in probably over two months, maybe going on two months and I don't know about you. I don't know. Was I with you the last time? If not, it's been like six months. I think it was Christmas time because there was a big, huge Santa bull mold last time, maybe. Yeah, it's been a while and I don't know. So we'll find out together inside if there's anything useful for us. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> it's a cute booth. Mm -hmm. I like this phone. It's older, isn't it? $22. Yeah, it's a little that bit of a different shape there. It's squared off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stromberg Carlson. I like it. I like it. It's a cool mixer. Mm -hmm. So, what am I after today? Some Art Deco stuff? Mm-hmm. Be nice if I could find a big Art Deco frame, but it might be pricey. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's fancy and big. $69. i never seen such a big one of that type of thing. Either. Oh, look at the bear. 45? Yeah. I was trying to see. It's Ozark pottery. Huh. <coughs> 18 cookie jar. Did you see this cookie jar over here? <gasps> hey, that's like the one I sold. It says USA on, on it. It's different though. If this is a pretzel jar. Or, I mean, it has a pretzel on it, but, oh, but yeah, there's cookies it? on it. $18, which is not bad. I need it to replace the one I sold. Go ahead I'm and buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't I? Yeah, of course. And you might still be able to list that one and sell it. Yeah. This is kind of a weird day. It is a weird day. <laughs> Why are we finding so many things? I mean, not everything is cheap. Oh, I thought you meant so. the day was literally weird. Well, I just mean because we're finding a lot of things. Look at that TV lamp. <gasps> I love the See? Freak. Freak me. $25. I'm buying it. Maybe hey, we're just... Everything's 20% off. <laughs> I told you this is a weird day. I think we lost our marbles. <laughs> oh, look at those. Look at these. Are, are these... those those curtain things? Those are awesome. Hey, you know, doesn't Scott have a matching planter for that right now? Oh, I don't know. I think, is that black? I can't tell. It's black spaghetti string. Yeah, he has a black and white, and it's made by Gilner for sale. Well, that's coming on with me. Mm hmm Look at this cute little mice on a cheese. That is adorable. Who's oh, I don't think it's that old, maybe. Or wait, no, it's it has crazy, to be. but. That's older. I can't tell what is happening. Oh, it's taped. Okay. Huh. Don't know. It's very cute though. Eight dollars is not bad. What do you do? Put cheese in there? Yeah. Yeah. A cheese wheel? <laughs> I don't know. Here's Black Depression. What is going on with this day? Everything is around here. <laughs> Everywhere we go. I'm not paying twelve dollars, but that's really cool. Here's these old magazines, Life. Oh. They want five a piece on them, but uh, I don't like life. I like better homes and gardens. I ordered one. Did and guess you? what? What? They sent it medium mail, what, what? and that was a month ago. <gasps> but it says it's supposed to come June 22nd. What? I didn't know it would take that long. Wow. Well. Oh, what's that? That's interesting. It says not for sale. Oh. So I guess it's just for decoration. Oh, no, no. Maybe because you can buy these and then... No, that doesn't make sense. I didn't know if they had the cards, the special 3D... Um, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. They're called 3D or what? You know um, what I'm talking about? Is it, I don't know if that's the right word or not. 3D, 3D. I don't know if it is or not either, but it's a combination of two photos, and whenever you see them together, it looks lifelike. Hmm. Isn't that fun? Little deer lamp up on the top shelf. These are those things that you'd use to uh, color yourself, oh, yeah. like kits. 
Did you used to do that? Not much. Oh. Is this burl wood? I like this booth. Always have. Uh -huh. Always have and I always will. This is ten dollars. Looks like a booth that would have that cat I want, but it doesn't. What cat? That heady shoop cat. Heady shoop. Heady. Heady. Remember the set of the set of the two that sold for, on eBay for so much that I wanted. Those cats, and, it, and they were oh. one was really big, and yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Those yeah. were strange. But most of them see. Here's a ginger painted. jar. Uh huh. Most of them are like brown or something. They're not all painted like that. Eighteen. This one is. Okay. Hmm? This one is. There is a lot going on over here. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Peek it's in here. There's a tiny little pig. Oh, that's $22. Pixie on a mushroom. Yeah. I keep seeing these things everywhere I go now. Yeah, there are a lot out there. That one is actually in great shape without any mm -hmm. it looks like it. real issues. There's another one in There's there. There's another. <laughs> this booth can be pretty good too sometimes. Which? Oh, this. this. One. There's a lot going on in this one too though. See, now I'm seeing all these, and I just picked some up. Oh, yeah. What is I've seen that one before recently somewhere. What do they have on this one? 22, I think. 22. 28. 28, and here's another one without okay. the handle. They want 45 for that. What? Well, they might just be a little Yeah, they're high. wanting a little bit. They're, they must be high. I, I do like this booth. I mean, visually, I like it for what they've got, yeah. but they're expensive for me. Yeah. You know what I would like? I'm going to put this out there. I would like to find, I think it's made by Thompson Pottery. It's the oil and vinegar cruet. Oh, right. That kind of, yeah. kind of goes together and it has ivy on it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you find that, then we're going to have to start saying we want to find a million dollars. <laughs> just a box of it just a box of a million dollars yeah. not used to being here when it's so busy yeah. it's a Saturday and this place is pop in pop in look at that standing cupie doll I know with the detachable arms ain't that creepy <laughs> oh, you know what else I need to find? I need to find the Hazel Atlas crisscross in clear, just the bottom rectangle, oh, the larger, because yeah. I have the uh, Ritz blue top. Oh, I remember that. Cobalt Ritz blue. Look at this little song. What is this for? Is it just a holder of some sort? What's a hold? Pencil holder, she calls oh, it. Oh, how cute. $45. What? Okay. Is that a chocolate mold? Um, that'd be a big piece of chocolate. It is a chocolate mold. I can read it from here. 135. Goodness golly, Miss Molly. Mm -mm. Oh, Some of those chocolate molds go very high. This little dog is something. I forgot what. Are though. you something? Oh no, that's not what I thought. They, you're you're a lot nothing. of different things made these. There's some like this, I believe, that were like California pottery even, and then some are in Japan. And okay, we'll put them down. He's nothing. Okay. Okay. These are, ooh, I like these. Mm-hmm. Why do I like these? Westmoreland milk glass candle holders, hand-painted holly pear. Oh. Yeah. Look at the red. I love the red on the little. Yeah. Those are special. You are special, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty enamel. Oh, yeah. 
I finally sold the one I had in my booth that was very similar to that uh -huh. for $28. Look at all these other chocolate molds. Oh, wow. Are they $130? <laughs> um, yeah, like $160, yeah. 89 Those for this cool, bunny. Though. They are, and they are every bit worth that. I've yeah. looked them up before. Look at that tin on the hmm. top with a tiger on it. I wonder what that is. Where? Very oh. Small. This is $65, and it's been here a long time. You can tell how faded this tag is. Uh -huh. That's cool. Tiger chewing tobacco. I like this. Isn't this adorable? That That's is cute. Sweet. And that is that Shenango China thing. Inca wear. Is this 12 something? I th thought I seen it $12. It's $12, yeah. yeah. If it was 6 I think I might. Oh, no. It's got a crack repair. Yeah, that's no good. I love all their little... I thought, I was like, did we go in here? I couldn't uh, not yet. Oh, so many goodies. Goody, goody gumdrops. Do you ever, like, get it's looking cute... for something and then, like, get panic distracted? because... No, I panic <laughs> no, because I I'm looking for too many things and then I'm going to miss other things that I'm not thinking no, about. No, I don't panic. I spotted this in the shelf over here and I have never seen anything quite like it, but they're calling it a serenity bowl. So it has these really cute birds on it and it's a lovely pink color. Hard to tell in this light, but it is definitely like a bubble gum kind of a pink color. And it is marked on the bottom hole 515. And they want about 60 bucks for it, but it has this open uh, top to it. Really, really cool. I just spotted these imitation McCoy Little Red Riding Hood. You can tell because well, look how clean that paint is, for one thing. But secondly, look how clean that pottery is. Hold on. And that mark is very pronounced. So. Where are your production? based exactly on one we found at an antique mall about a week ago. Here's another set here. And right there we have some fake jadeite. These are obviously fake because they have Coca-Cola on them. But even this little child set here with the Scotty dog on it, new. You can see the residue right there of a made in China or similar type of a sticker. And we have a black Americana, also fake. These are fake for sure. Basically everything in this booth, and there's like multiples of these cast iron things. So that's a dead giveaway on those. The ball jars are probably older, but wow. Interesting. And these are the new version of the Pyrex nesting bowls. But that's obvious. We're not, I mean, it even has the box. So, call it Vintage Charm. This lamp is super cute. Now here is a real child set. This is actually made by Acro Agate. It not only says that on the tag, but there is the logo on the bottom, which is an A with a bird flying through it with the open wingspan. So that one is Depression Era, and here's the little cups. This is a really cool planter mixed with a light, like a television light, and then there's a clock, but I think that this is a refrigerator dish that they just stuck in there. Minus the lid, of course, but they want $30, and it says that it works. Pretty cool, though. If this was, if I trusted what this was more, if I, then maybe I'd jump on it, but I'm just starting to think that this is just a afterthought that happened to fit. 
This is super cute. Orange for baby. $75. Hard to find juice reamer. Now show them the take dispenser in case you don't buy it. And they can all say you should have bought it. No, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Ivy leaf. And you can hang it on the wall. I guess it's Japan. I just general Japan. It's not really marked. Look at those ivy leaves. It's thirty dollars though. Twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. Okay, what that's worth. Um, and we're just sitting on the floor. Well, I'm sitting on the floor. She has some really, very, very nice stuff in this booth. The prices are high. Like over here, there is a black amethyst ice bucket. They're calling it for a hundred and thirty-five dollars. So that's going to stay right there. It's been there for a long time. Hi, welcome back to On the Floor Vintage with Jeffrey. This is a really very cool, it's $135 Cosmos, I believe it says, butter dish. Look at that. I love the color on here. For $135, my goodness. It's old, of course. Beautiful. all right so i would say that was a success both barb and i got a lot of stuff so i have a whole video coming probably tomorrow of the stuff that i just picked up here at the mall and then uh depending on how much stuff barb has set aside we might do another video with her on what she found because she got a lot of stuff today as well but i will go ahead and end the video here thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye